Hey, it's me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Well, you know, I was just communicating with my wife, you know, because I'm I'm stuck here in New York through this pandemic. I never do anything like this. This is unbelievable. I've been like I've been like isolated. I've isolated. Well, I did journeys like uh, go, go through India. You know, you you do these things where you silent for for a number of days. You know, or or you know, you go to an ashram or you go someplace and you just sequester yourself away for you like thirty days or whatever, three months, whatever it is. But this is kind of strange, where it's like everybody. <laughs> Everybody's in an ashram. We're all ashramming, which reminds me, yeah, what, so what are you doing in the ashram? Because this is the time we're supposed to, you know, reflect, blah, 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 blah. So uh, anyway, I was, um, she's down in South Africa. South Africa ha hasn't opened its borders to, well, to me. <laughs> uh, I'm locked down here. Anyway, it's a mess. Anyway, but we have to communicate all the time. But I like WhatsApp because, you know, you can, you can, uh, Text, you know what I mean? At times, you know, I just voice and text. I don't really like the face-to-face. The -face. Every once in a while, face-to-face, -face, but you know, I like that stuff. Anyway, so we're going back and forth. And, but she said, she said, you know, she's going back to some more of her, her sewing and stuff like that because she's a designer. And her creations are, like, amazing, you know? Anyway, her creations are amazing. Because she had this whole thing with colors and matching up fabric and pattern patterns together. It's like, woof. Her mind is unbelievable. Anyway. Uh, so, 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 you know, so she's going back to that because, you know, because of this whole pandemic thing, she's doing her cooking and that and then other stuff, and her crafts, other stuff. Anyway, uh, so uh, she asked me, well, what are you doing? You know, it's a fair question. It's a natural question, whatever it is. And I thought, yeah, you know what I'm doing? Okay. First of all, I have, this is saying that I've, I've embraced my entire life. This second I'm drinking right now. It's like past the middle of the day. What time is it? Yeah, it's like getting into it, like early afternoon. And I'm preparing. I'm eating early today. But I'm preparing. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm drinking right now. I'm drinking a Chardonnay, a white wine Chardonnay. I usually, you know, usually I really don't do, you know, usually I really don't do short, um, white wines or even, I like red wines, you know, but but, but the amount of sulfites, I think, in white wines is more than the amount of sulfites that they put in red wine. So I try to avoid the sulfites. But I got some fish. The other, you know, just yesterday, I get to my, my stop on my fish joint, right? And what I did is I got the, um, the, the, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the fish and shrimp, the shrimp and fish, right? But they gave me the whole the fries, too. I didn't want fries anyway, but they charged me for the fish and shrimp. But anyway, so now I ate the, I ate the shrimp right away because I like to do that. I like it hot, right? But I took the, I still got the fish, you know, the fried fish, you know, the, this is ghetto. This is what we do in the ghetto. I think it's a uh, whiting. Anyway, so now I'm going to make something with that. I'm going to take my hummus and I'm going to take my, oh, okay. oh yeah. I'm going to take the garlic, uh, my garlic wrap, garlic pesto wrap, garlic pesto wrap. Now hummus like that, and I put probably some. Oh, here I got some. Uh, my almond butter, turmeric salad, just put it in there. I'm 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 not going at all. At, at, I'm not going out at all today, which is why I have I'm still I'm in a dressing gown, you know. But if I, I I should go out and get some lettuce, but I'm not. I'm just not. I'm just gonna eat that. That's gonna be in a little while. Um, I'll put that in a wrap, you know. But the thing about it. It's like when you drink wine, which is supposed to be as spirits, I guess, too. You know, I'm going to eat my, a little, maybe an hour from now, maybe, or maybe half, no, maybe about an hour from now. You know what I mean? So what you want to do for the wine or the, or the, or the whatever you're, you're altering your statement to work very, very well, what you want to do is you want to drink it in enough time, you know, ahead of time so that, you know, you, you feel good about it. Because as soon as you start putting food in your thing, the metabolism starts to change. Food's got some other things to do right now is, is doing this, you know? Helping you along, but 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 it's it's but you know you put food in there, it's doing some other stuff. Anyway, so she said that my wife, but but when I think my wife, she has she's after she's she grew up in a in a in a, in a colored so called colored cape 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 colored you know gangster area whatever it is. But they have all kinds of saying. So there's one of the sayings when I when I thought about because I was talking to her is a uh, I'm. I'm buffing my own trophy. 
you know, or you, or you say, well, man, why don't you stop buffing your own trophy? Because, you know, you talk good about yourself, whatever have you. But I was thinking about that because what I'm doing in this projects right now, I'm preparing. Preparation is everything. So what I'm preparing for is my writing. But I have this whole writing season. I'm going in May 12th begins what I would call it my 52-day period right before the prosecution cycle. So what I have to do in that period is uh, chill out, be cool, be calm, whatever have you. Uh, but this time I'm preparing everything. I might do some writing, start a, start a series in that period, right, like that. But after that, come after July, since I'll still be sequestered, if I'm not here, I really want to get, I want to get to St. Louis so I can get to my writing, my other writings and but whatever. I don't know when that's going to happen. That'll be happen after July, who knows. So anyway, I want to get there and 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 right, you know what I mean. But but I want to. But but I'm using this time right now to now to July, you know, and to prepare what I'm going to write. Because once I I start, I just go woof. So what am I saying? Why am I taking this time with you and whatever have you? I say it very simple. Hey, we're in. You're in preparation right now. And you better prepare for something because, because preparation for the change because you you obviously know the money system is going to like whoosh, that's that's not going to work anymore. You know what I mean? This whole thing, the, the, these these people get a whole lot of money, sit back and to to enjoy you know, watching your misery. That's not going to people as they as this goes on, people realize this whole money scheme or what everything is based on. The system is based on how fragile the system is. You take this one bolt out and boom, 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 you're done. I should tell that story. Wait a second. I'm gonna take you a little. I want to tell the story. I want to tell you. I'm gonna say something. When uh, one of the first things when I was at Nero Automobile Company, um, just like the the, the late sixties, um, sixty nine, yeah, whatever it's. Um, what did I think? Now who was it? Oh man. Oh man, was the was the Luther James? I think it was Edmund Cambridge. Anyway, the, um, he was telling the story how like uh, this guy in the military was uh, well, he was uh, not in the military in the uh, what do you call that a uh, uh, an airport and an, I'm sorry an air hangar and, and yeah airport but they find private private planes and but he's in charge of certain fleet of planes but there's one plane he's supposed to be whatever 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 and they always had trouble trouble starting this plane and they always had to call him to start it so what he did was you know he went if you want and sure enough you know whatever he did it made it go back good whatever whatever it was right and so they was wondering what it was and they said well finally it's revealed that what he does is he has a special like bolt that he takes out all the time. So he's, you know, he does this, he has the upper hand and he just watches people you know, go change it so they're asking for the bolt. To me, the, the, the key to all this stuff, the powers that be, they have the key, they've convinced us that that key that they have is real. And what we do is we actually listen to them. If we stop listening and don't believe that key is real, that bolt, that they, you know, that's an illusion. You know, make our own bolt or whatever it is, you know. The thing is going to fall apart. So people are finding out where all the bolts are. Where all the bolts are is what I'm trying to say. Everything is falling apart. Oh, too bad. That's a little, you know, a little thought. You know, talk to you later. But don't tell a whole lot of people because, you know, we are in an undisclosed location. And so should you be.